extreme mountain biker Harald Philipp in the northern Italian Alps. Here, where even experienced mountain climbers are breathless, he takes his bike to its and his limits. There is definitely a risk. Risk has a certain appeal. When you go to the absolutely outermost edge of your comfort zone and don't know if you're up to the challenge, that's where it gets really interesting. During the ride, Harold experiences an endorphin rush. Enthusiasts call this mental state flow. When you're really in this flow, at these moments you aren't thinking at all, you're just totally immersed in cycling. For me, the next two and a half second stretch is a whole universe. I become one with my bike. Feeling a total rush on the way back down to the valley can be addictive. <laughs> The flow is dangerous. It's always pulling you to go one step further. Where I found my flow yesterday, I don't find it today. It's when you're not in the flow but can think about what's around you that you can find a direction to develop in. Nothing will be more dangerous and close to the abyss as the Via Ferrata. Definitely a mind-blowing experience. Even mountain climbing with a bike over your shoulder is a mind-blowing experience. The film, called Via Ferrata, documents Harold Phillips' tour over three climbs in the Brenta Dolomites in Italy. Without a safety cable, the edge always in sight. This is a tour where you can't afford to make any mistake. That's the stupid part, but it's also what's so exhilarating, that all of what happens depends 100% on me. Why do I ride a path that's so dangerous? There really isn't a sensible answer to that, but something about it drew me to it. And when I'd completed this tour, I had the feeling I'd outdone myself. Dass ich so über mich hinausgewachsen bin in diesem Moment. Together with the sports scientist, the extreme cyclist has written a book about his experiences and the flow. Harald Philipp plans his bicycle adventures painstakingly at home in the Austrian city of Innsbruck. He analyzes even the smallest rock faces on the mountain before every tour. This one's exciting because the landscape is so majestic. It goes over this ridge and then down here, and it must be pretty fantastic when you get such a great view into the valley. Harold Philip wants to share his experiences with other people. That's why he writes books, shoots film, and gives lectures all over Europe. I want to convey the feeling I have when I'm up on the mountain. It's not being a hero. I don't either peek and theatrically say, ta-da, I'm going to conquer it. It just feels great to be outdoors in nature. I wouldn't say what I do makes sense, but it makes me happy. That's why he'll continue spending hours carrying his bike on his back up a mountain. for a descent that lasts only a few minutes. But what minutes they are.